feel like you're at having had this full off season with the program? Uh, physically, I feel like uh, I'm in. Physically, I, f oh, I got oh, my bad. Physically, I feel like uh, I'm in great shape. Uh, Coach Joe, he primed us up the whole team and got guys' body uh, bodies right and transformed into a different version that you didn't see yourself uh, self in. So I feel like I'm physically perfectly fine where I should be at right now. Do you feel different on the field already in any way? Uh, I don't know. I would probably say I'm, I feel like I'm more explosive, uh, faster. I mean, I, I'm, I'm obviously heavier, mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like uh, heavier in a good way, so. What, what are you weighing at now, Rashad? Uh, right now I'm weighing about 208, 209, so. Uh, I'm just trying to keep that keep that weight maintained through camp in the season. And what were you coming into ASU? Uh, coming into ASU, I was about like 195. Okay. So what went into that, like the eating you had to do in order to kind of get where you're at? Uh, what went into it is just consistency, for real. Uh, that was just a big thing. Uh, the things you eat, obviously you try to watch, but I mean, I'm a college athlete, so you, you guys <laughs> know how that goes, man. So, but really just consistency. And what was your meal plan like? Like, were you trying to get certain macros, or how, what, what all went into that? Uh, nothing really. It was just kind of uh, taking what they give us, things like that. But uh, just trying to make sure I eat like little snacks in between, things like that. Well, after we getting fed like lunch, uh, you know, dinner and breakfast. Shad, what does uh, Case Hatch bring to the table? Uh, Case Hatch, uh, he just different. I mean, Case Hatch is just Case Hatch, man. He. I don't know, like he's just a different breed. I mean, you know, he gonna sell, he gonna give you his all. So that's what I would really say I get from Case Hatch is he gonna put everything on the line and put team and put the team first just so we can, you know, get the job done and get the win. Rashad, last year was great for you, averaging 10 yards a carry. It was historic. Um, I mean, obviously that's hard to match, but what are your personal expectations for yourself this year? Uh, I mean, personal expectations, I really kind of don't ever come in with personal expectations, just being honest and truthful. Uh, I just do whatever the team needs me to do. And, uh, you know, like I said, just try to take it one play at a time and take what the defense gives me. So. What have you seen out of Chip this offseason? Uh, Chip, that's my guy. Uh, honestly, Chip, what I've seen, he's explosive fast. Uh, just being able to catch the ball more, things like that, got better at that. And uh, uh, like I said, he's fast. Uh, he, me and him, me probably neck to neck now. You gonna get a foot race? Uh, I don't know. Everybody been asking. He be asking me sometimes too. So we just gotta find the right uh, time and right setting. And uh, yeah, we could get something going. Rashad, um, you and Chip obviously got to show your stuff last season. Is there anybody who didn't have the same quite production as you guys had in the four game stint that has impressed you so far? Uh, I would say, uh, I mean, we, you know, Nagata, we got just a strong running back core and, some, uh, and relationships. So I would kind of say, like, uh, you know, Daniel Nagata, Nagata, uh, you know, he kind of didn't get a chance that much. But when he did get a chance, he, you know, you still seeing things out of him. And, you know, he just, what I love about him is, you know, most guys are transfer or some relieve or they're, and he just, you know, sticking with it, you know, trusting the process. And, uh, you know, me and Chip preach it to him all the time, too. Like, you know, when it's your turn, it's, you know, you go just go ahead and be ready and be prepared to go to work. Rashad, a lot of people say that running the ball is an attitude. When, when do you guys feel like you first kind of developed that attitude that you could run the ball on people? Uh, Honestly, like you said, it's an attitude. So in reality, uh, all we talk about is like we don't want to be tackled. Like you don't want to go to the ground and you know just think about football and offense and running the ball. I mean, obviously you want to score. Like you know that's your mindset every time. You know, no matter if you don't score when you get that ball or get the carry, get the catch. Uh, that's the you know that's your mindset. Is I need to. I'm trying to score every time I touch it. You know. Where are you at with your benchmarks in the weight room now, with bench and squat and all that? Uh, right now I'm at a. I'm. I mean, obviously higher than uh, what I used to be. Uh, I'm up there in max, things like that. I would say I'm probably obviously lifting the most I ever lifted in, in my life and things like that. And I say I'm at some great little great, uh, some great milestones. I saw you um, shouting out your offensive lineman on Twitter for the NIL stuff. What do you just feel like about that? Uh, what they can do this year? Oh uh, yeah, I'm just trying to shout out. I mean, you can shout out. I mean, a good amount of positions. I mean, I mean that's really kind of slept on because, like I said, just most NIL deals and things like that goes to like you know skilled guys, the guys that's shining, but not really the guys that's doing. Now I wouldn't say like dirty work, but you know some hard hard work, which is you know offensive linemen, defensive linemen, you know linebackers, guys like that, even like uh, certain DBs. So uh, I'm just trying to shout out, get them some love, uh, you know, get them going and things like that.
How do you feel about them this year when, and their capability, your offensive line? Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, we all talented. We are a group. I feel like offensive line, they're very strong. They, they uh, most, Some of them obviously gain healthy and good weight. Uh, still, some of them fast and things like that. So I feel like they're in great shape and they all coming back. So that's a great, great thing. Back to NIL, do you have anything coming down the pipe that you can talk about yet? Uh, nah, I mean, not really. I mean, it's, it'd be uh, deals here and there, but uh, I just try try not to take every deal and, and uh, you know, just uh, just stick to the flow. I'll be trying to really just focus on football because I kind of carry uh, handle everything else to handle itself. So. What goes into the decision making process when you're choosing whether or not to uh, capitalize on one of those NIL deals? Uh, kind of. I mean, a lot for me. Uh, uh, I mean, everybody else is different, but for me, it's just um, you know w the requirements. What do you have to do? Things like that. How much time will it take away from certain things and things like that? Do I have enough time for it? Uh, just things like that. So you know, basically the things that you know uh, when you hear, you know, you got reporters and you hear a lot of people that necessarily they don't say they're not saying they don't agree with nil but they like you know it could take away from school or it could take away from here so the things like that and i'm pretty sure a bunch of other athletes you know think the same way uh just seeing you know how much would it take away from from certain aspects of what you're trying to do and trying to accomplish you mentioned daniel what, what's his progress been like i know he had the muscle soreness when he came in last spring what's his been progress been like and how he's been developing as a player uh, pro progress been good. Uh, he gained weight as well. Body transformed. He looked good. He got faster. Same as well. He's healthy now. Yeah. Um, just say I would just say you know he just competing. You know like a, like you know everybody waiting on the opportunity. You know waiting on their turn and uh, you know he's in good spirits, man. He's a great teammate. Yeah. And, and for uh, Coach Aguano, the conversations he's had with you guys, what kind of expectations he's putting on you? In terms of practice and what he wants to see out of you guys this year. Uh, honestly, he don't. I mean, you know, everybody you got expectations, but he just tell us to uh, be ourselves, be us. You know, kind of control what we can, uh, control what we can control, and uh, just kind of get just get better each uh, each and every day. You know, don't let a day go by. Don't waste a day, and uh, don't waste the opportunity. How much more comfortable do you feel now that it's your second year in the system? Uh, I mean, the system is different. Uh, I like I love the system. I, I mean, I say this all the time. Uh, Coach Hill offensive system is different. I like it. Uh, it's great with uh, guys like with ability. I mean, with talents like most of us have to get us an open space and capitalize on that. So uh, you feel very comfortable. You feel very confident. Uh, and you just, you know, trying to stay level headed and just keep put your head down and keep working. Do you see uh, you, Daniel, and Chip as kind of a three headed monster? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I say, yeah, for sure, we're three headed monster. Uh, it just kind of like, I mean, that's kind of nickname everybody gave to us, but in reality, like, we don't mention that to ourselves or things like that. We just, like I said, keep our head down. We just keep working and, and everything else, like I said, is going to take care of itself. You mentioned Chip with his hands. You mentioned Chip with his hands. Where do you feel like he's at right now as a receiver, and what do you think the capability could be for your guys as receivers collectively? Uh, I mean, I feel like he's uh, in great spears. I feel like he's in great, like, his hands got, I mean, way better. I mean, for real, for real, it's gonna be you know to uh, everybody to see. He gonna have to show everybody, and I think he, I believe he will. And then what was the last one? Yeah, and you guys collectively, because you had a couple times where you got some passes as a receiver and took off in the USC game. What do you feel like you can do in that department as a group this year? Uh, I mean, I feel like we could just uh, take advantage of kind of every, like I said, every opportunity. And um, honestly, I feel like we're gonna be. I feel like we pride ourselves and Coach Aguano pride us on being able to do it all. Being able to be every down back and just stay on the field and not have a weakness in your game.